Hi guys, I'm back. I um, just uh, wanted to show you uh, my, uh, uh, a friend actually 3D printed uh, a, the Stratix case for me and uh, I thought it was really cool so I just wanted to share with you guys uh, the, the configurations again. I also, uh, since my last video, I've actually updated, uh, you know, the uh, GPS and I have the RY835A HARS um, in the Stratix now, so which is really nice. And uh, it's actually this, um, <clears throat> this system right now. So you have the, uh, the power and the GPS light enabled um, and also the NOAA LEC mini SDR antennas. Uh, I also got the um, the antennas that from my friend too as well. So uh, basically the 1090 and the 978 antennas. Uh, I also got the fan working really nicely here. Um, this case is the Thingiverse 1016829. Um, you can visit it, I guess, on the uh, Thingiverse website. Um, I also have the Stratix overclocked at a thousand megahertz. Uh, also. Uh, running the latest um, beta version, which is a 07B3 instead of the the 61 uh, version of the code, seems to be uh, not too bad. It's pretty stable. Um, just gonna show you the web interface for Stratix. Uh, you can go to um, once you've connected via Wi-Fi to the 192.168.10.1, um, and you can see the version is uh, 07B3. Uh, right now there's no GPS fix, uh, it's just because I'm inside my house, um, but you can see uh, it's got the uh, two SDRs uh, connected, uh, which is nice here too. Um, you know, if you do have uh, AHARs, uh, it'll actually give you the um, uh, GPS uh, location, just making sure you're syncing up, uh, but also you can, you can configure it uh, in the settings menu uh, and just enable GPS and AHARs in case you you do set it up, but you forget to enable it. Um, I've actually done some tweaking on the um, Raspberry Pi. So what I've done is I've actually overclocked this to a thousand megahertz, and I've also enabled some additional settings uh, in the config, which is part of the boot up process. And uh, it actually uh, is pretty fast. So I'm just uh, going to show you uh, four flight, and just to show you that uh, under devices tab. Um, you know, it is showing connected. Just I don't have any towers right now, just because I'm not, you know, out flying. Uh, otherwise, we'd be able to pick up some of the ADSB towers. Um, and we can go into uh, the maps and maybe uh, we can see some traffic if, if anything is out there. Uh, not right now. I mean, I, I did some see something earlier. Uh, I had the same issue just because I'm inside the house and we really can't see much. Um, but it does definitely show up, you know, while you're out flying. Uh, it works just as good as a, a Xeon PCAS. Um, of course, you're you're not getting that direct uh, mode C antennas, um, you know, especially as a, a flight instructor. I'd like to see that maybe in the later build of the software. Um, but uh, what's also nice is Wing X Pro works really nicely with it. Um, you know, I've even uh, brought up the uh, AHARS on there as well. So uh, you know it's it's pretty much functional and you can see that um, your AHARS is lit up here Stratix and uh, you have your, your GPS map here and this would also give you uh, the traffic representation too um, you know and you can also you know look at the info on all the specific inform or at least the information on the uh, just trying to pull up here it's so all these different uh, pages, but uh, you can pull up the information on the you know, the Stratix and make sure that it's it is uh, current and you know giving you what you want to see. But uh, I do like you know that the AHARS feature is there. It's still quite buggy, and even um, uh, you know Stratix says that uh, you really shouldn't <laughs> you know uh, use it in flight uh, for you know your normal flying just because it's it's truly buggy. So. Uh, just give it a few more. The developers are working on it, but uh, overall, uh, definitely a nice uh, cost savings over a uh, Stratus, um, you know, uh, ADSB, and it works really good with uh, the iPad 
for flight tool and uh, wing x pro so uh, definitely uh, build yourself one uh, the new uh, raspberry pi 3 just came out and i'm eager to you know see how that works and uh, hopefully you know uh you know, they start uh, getting it on 64 bit because it's a 64 bit operating system and uh, i think it's like 1.2 gigahertz processor or uh, maybe a thousand uh, megahertz. We'll, we'll see. And and but it's a 64-bit system, one one gig of RAM. So uh, would definitely be uh, eager to see uh, when that comes out. Anyway, uh, you guys uh, happy flying and uh, hope you get yourself one of these things. And uh, it's definitely pretty cool. So see ya.